the champion juvenile hurdle next this is the Irish equivalent of the triumph two miles of this one not two miles and one four year olds obviously chaos bell craig bickwith final say darren thompson mr fish martin and potentially in spades joshua sutherland redondo beach leon van rinsberg cladora alacaba Derek Hinton, Ruth Noirs, Fanning, David Robertson, Saxon, Siren, Padraig Hogan, Stiletto Heel, Daniel French, and White Tie Flyer, Derek Hinton, 10 of them, and called in and away, and Stiletto Heel having won at Cheltenham and Liverpool. Pretty much certain, I would guess, to be the champion juvenile hurdler as they get over the first of the eight, but a win here would definitely put that to bed. There's another grade one juvenile hurdle next week in France. The sort of French equivalent of this at Oitoy. And I've been already taken two of them and without being disrespectful to the other two places, I would say that the Cheltenham and Liverpool ones are the main ones. Stiletto Hill is pretty much inked in to be champion juvenile hurdle unless something spectacular happens in this race and then next week something wins by 20 lengths or something. Anyway, they're all safely over the second. Eric Hinton's two greys are in at the back, White Tide Flower and Clodora a la Carba. And it's final say. Won't yet have the final say in the lead. From Mr. Fish, who was second at Cheltenham but didn't run well at Liverpool last week in second. And potentially in spades, Redondo Beach on the outside. Ruth Noir's fanning was capable of winning on a going day. And Stiletto Hill, Saxon Siren is next, that one. Was a winner earlier in the season as well as was Cladora Alakawa. Oh, Tide Flowers after them, and then Chaos Bell at the back. It's usually a pretty interesting division. The juvenile hurdlers don't seem to be so many of them this season. There's not two races every week. That's probably why not everybody's got more than one. But most people got at least two. So. Final says in the lead, Mr. Fish. He's second, potentially in spades is third, and Stiletto Hill fourth, and Cladora a la Carba, Dondo Beach, Saxon Siren. Over the fifth. Final says lead is cut down to a length and a half now. Oh, Mr. Fish in second, then potentially in spades is third. After that one, Redondo Beach, then Stiletto Hill, with Cladora a la Carba, and Saxon Siren. Tide Flower and Chaos Bell and Ruth Noir's fan and are just a little bit adrift of the other two or the others but they are now catching up and back into the pack as final say it's being pushed along to extend the lead two lengths clear of Redondo Beach and potentially in spades who are second and third Mr Fish now switching to the outside and trying to get back into a Challenging position in fourth. Here comes Stiletto Hill starting to make its run. Three and a half furlongs to go. White Tide Flower and Cladora a la Carba going to try and slip up the inside over the second last. They go and final says two clear at the moment of Redondo Beach. Potential in spades. Mr. Fish, Cladora a la Carba. Stiletto Hill's got some work to do today as they race towards the home turn. They've got one more flight still to get over. And it's final say who's in the lead. Mr. Fish, Redondo Beach. Potential in spades. White Tide Flower, Saxon Siren. Plenty in with chances. Stiletto so here with a lot of work to do. Mr. Fish pokes his head just in front of Redondo Beach. But Redondo Beach fights back between the two of them. Potential in space. Final space. It says looking for a bit of room on the inside. This is the final flight. Over it they go. Mr. Fish landed in the lead. Mr. Fish for potential in space. Who's starting to get up on the inside. And it's potential in space. Who's going away now. Mr. Fish is going to be second. Potential in space wins it. Mr. Fish second. And Redondo Beach final say. Saxon Siren is third. And I'm going to go and jump out of the window second again. All these big races, it's not about me, it's about Joshua Sutherland, who's won another big race, potential in spades, takes it. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, Mr. Fish second for the grumpy commentator. Redondo Beach was third for Leon Van Rensburg. Final save for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Saxon Siren for Padre Grogan was fifth. What happened to Stiletto Hill? Is he the champion four-year-old hurdler, or is it still up for grabs? We'll have to wait and, wait and see next week when we pop over to Oi Toy.